Walter McCarty brings in Evansville on Tuesday at 7 to take on the Cats. And for more on the Purple Aces, here's opposition research from the Leach Report and Glycod.com. The usual suspects aside, fewer non-conference matchups on the Cats slate provides more intrigue than the University of Evansville and the return of ex-Cat and Aces head coach Walter McCarty. On the floor, UE enters Tuesday post a season opening win, but barely. Up early in the second, Evansville withstood a furious rally from Ball State to hang on, 79-75. DeAndre Williams was fantastic in his collegiate debut, pouring in 26 points and nine boards, while high D1 transfer Sam Cunliffe rallied 17 and workhorse KJ Riley posted 14. Free throws were the difference as UE sank 12 of 14, while Ball State netted just six of 15. The win, a nice start to the year for a group returning three starters from an 11 and 21 team. The Purple Aces were slotted eighth in this season's Valley preseason poll. The Evansville native begins year two inside the UE rebuild. A standout player at Harrison, McCarty joined Rhodes, Delk, and Prickett to formulate Rick Pitino's infamous 92 class at UK and concluded a brilliant playing career just shy of 1,000 points and a national title. His corner three and 94 in Baton Rouge will go down in the annals as it catapulted the Cats to the historic come from behind win. A first round pick of the Knicks in the 96 draft, McCarty's playing trek included nine seasons with four franchises, most notably the Celtics from 97 to 2005. There he reconnected with Patino and would eventually be hired as a U of L assistant in 2007. That began an 11-year stint as an understudy, the last eight on an NBA bench prior to securing the Evansville gig. Cumulatively, McCarty is 12 and 21, but the talent has been upgraded significantly. Case in point, DeAndre Williams. A newcomer to the program, the Houstonian was deemed ineligible last year due to eligibility concerns centering around his homeschool background. The 6'9 sophomore is a former three-star who turned down Oklahoma State and Baylor and was the best player on the floor in Saturday's win versus BSU. Sam Cunliffe has bounced around a bit. The 6'6 junior began at Arizona State where he was the Sun Devils' highest rated recruit since James Harden. To follow, a one-year stint in Lawrence as a complimentary piece before dropping down to a level where he should flourish. His 17 points in 25 minutes over the weekend should portend things to come. K.J. Riley is a three-year starter in Evansville's top returnee. The 6'5 senior posted 14-5 last season alongside a team-best 96 assists. Riley has been north of 20 on five career occasions, but checked in at just 17% last year from three. Additional production will be provided by fellow returnee John Hall and Coastal Carolina export Art Labinowitz. Hall is a 6'7 junior with 38 career starts and showed solid numbers of 9 points and 7 rebounds last season, while Labinowitz put up 11 per on 34% three-point shooting before making the jump. Both played 20-plus minutes on Saturday and are key pieces of the rotation. And a couple of fast facts dealing with the Aces. UE won five Division II crowns before claiming Division I status in 1977. Since, they've made five NCAAs, but none since 1999. It's the first ever matchup, Kentucky and Evansville on Tuesday at 7 on the SEC Network. For today's opposition research and the Leach Report, I'm Chris Labar.